Today, I'm going to go over how to model a Roth conversion in Holistaplan. To start, you, are wanna, you will want to begin with your base case scenario. In this case, we're working with tax year 2022. We have our example clients, John and Sally Smith. John is 67 years old and just started to collect Social Security for this year. And Sally is 65 and she also recently retired. They have no wage income. Um, they have some taxable interest, uh, total dividends, including qualified, non-qualified, 7,500. As mentioned, John uh, is collecting his 34,000 in social security. They have a little bit of short-term and long-term capital gains, but otherwise a pretty uh, low income situation as far as their tax liability is concerned. Um, as you can see, that taxable income, zero dollars this year, total tax, zero. So they're actually in a position where it's negative income, um, meaning they have this 13,500 less the standard deduction for married filing jointly. That would be a negative amount. So they're not going to get any money back. They just won't have to pay anything in tax. So they are a prime candidate for a Roth conversion. So in order to model that, you might first be asking yourself, well, how much? What sh how much should be in the Roth conversion? A great place to start then would be to go to the base case and go to your range calc tool. Here, you're going to want to focus on this top graph speaking to ordinary income. A Roth conversion will be considered ordinary income as far as the tax picture is concerned. As you can see, right here along the graph, they have up to 15,000 where they would have no more um, tax that would affect that next dollar of income, which is what this graph is saying. Basically, what is the effective tax rate on the next dollar of income? And this goes up in increments of $1,000. That's also um, reflected right here. This is gonna show you that last step before the next jump in marginal tax rate, 15,000. So you might go back and you wanna show John and Sally how they could take on more income and not pay anything in taxes. That's often a concept um, with clients that can really um, be impactful for them. So what I just did there, I copied over a scenario. I used my tax year 2022 base case and I'm going to rename this as a best practice. I'm just gonna put that 15K Roth conversion. And then I'm gonna scroll up. I'm gonna go to my Roth conversion worksheet. For modeling purposes and example purposes, I'm going to use taxpayer one. This is John in the system. Um, we're just making an assumptions here in the example. His IRA is higher. He's closer to his RMD age being 67. Sally's only 65. Um, with that higher IRA, RMDs are closer. We want to start getting his money out of that IRA setting to that Roth setting where it can grow tax-free in a quicker amount of time. And so once you enter that in, you're going to get some information pop up. Here it's going to show you that incremental cost of the Roth conversion, basically how much in the tax liability is it increased by simply adding the conversion. Here, we see that zero dollars. Um, nothing is added to the tax liability because that is being, um, that's using up that standard deduction amount. And then here, I'm not going to click into it. In this video, uh, we have other videos that go into it a lot more um, and in better detail than I will be able to cover in this video, but you can use the Roth explainer, which would um, essentially be a tool to help you and the client understand this singular Roth conversion of $15,000. At what point in time in the future does it begin to impact the portfolio? When and if does it impact the portfolio? So that's a really great tool. Um, I recommend learning more about it and um, watching our videos on it. So we've entered that 15,000, we scroll down and we can see that total tax here is still $0. Everything remains the same. 
even though we're taking on more income in a Roth conversion. So that would be, you might think that's at least the minimum amount you would want to consider, uh, take advantage of that negative income situation. However, uh, John and Sally are comfortable with, they might actually want to use up that 10% tax bracket versus um, just using up the standard deduction amount that was getting them a negative income. In doing so, if you go back to your range calc screen, you'll see how exposing more past that 15,000 will start to add additional tax. Um, you have this jump in the blue, and then you also have that purple. Um, the jump in the blue, that's basically meaning the standard deduction has been um, increased and now we have income that's exposed to the marginal tax bracket. Um, what you also want to consider though for their circumstances is that their social security, a portion of it will begin to become taxable. So you see here, you know, as they're filling up that 10 and then into the 12% marginal tax bracket, their more social security becomes taxable for John. And then here you have that cliff. That cliff doesn't mean that, oh, suddenly they owe zero dollars in social security tax. What that means is that they've reached that maximum up to 85% of social security has become taxable. So now as we add, you know, past 42,000 plus an additional ordinary income to the base case scenario, no more social security can be taxed. It's basically reached its limit. But they're not interested in going above that. What they want to do or what they've asked you to, to model or what you're considering modeling for them is filling up that 10% marginal tax bracket. They're comfortable with some Social Security becoming taxable, and they just want to fill up that bracket because perhaps years later, in consideration of both of them collecting Social Security and they're both taking their RMDs, they're going to be at this higher, the higher end of the 12% bracket, even into the lower end of the 22%. So they would want to fill up the 10 at least. So we can see going along here that ends at the $26,000 mark uh, from the base case. So we would just go back. We're going to add a scenario. Like before, we click on add a scenario, copy from a scenario. I'm going to use my base case again. I'm going to rename it. Here, we're going to rename that 26,000 Roth conversion. We're going to scroll down. And we're still going to be using John Taxpayer 1. Here, same information pops up, except now you see that there is a dollar cost to that Roth conversion because we are um, exposing more of the ordinary income um, to the marginal tax bracket of 10% and then that social security becomes taxable. And then that then this is a great place to show the client that total tax, how they now have just under a $2,000 tax um, liability with the $26,000 Roth conversion, but they are filling up that 10% marginal bracket. And that is how far I'm going to go in modeling a Roth conversion.